Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. Here you can see the screen so we are going to develop all this using React components. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on repositories. Click on book rest API React JS link. Let's clone this project. Project cloned successfully. Now let's open this project in IntelliJ. Let's import the existing project. Import this as a Maven project. Now follow the steps. Imported successfully. Let's open the web app folder. Here if you observe node modules folder is missing, node modules folder is required then only react will work. So whenever you download any react or angular project you need to run npm install command. Now open this in terminal. Run npm install command. It takes at least 5 to 10 minutes. See installed successfully. Let's refresh react.js folder. See now node modules folder exists. Now let's execute npm start command. Project started successfully. Let's open in browser. See it's working. Now it's showing the only welcome message. First, let's remove all the CSS code from the index.css file. Let's create a new directory, name let's say components. Let's create our first component. In React everything we write inside JS file there is no separate HTML. First, let's create a component for navigation. So component name let's say navigation bar JS. Whatever component we create we need to add an entry in app.js. So let's open app.js also. Now let's first add basic code inside navigation bar component. If you know Java then it's easy to understand. Let's import React. Now let's create a class called navigation bar. This class will extend React component. Now we are allowing some other component also can import this class. So for that, we need to add an export default navigation bar. Now we need to add render logic, so inside render function we will return JSX code. See this is the basic structure of React component. Now let's put some message. Now this is done. Let's import this component in app.js. See here we can import because we wrote export default in navigation bar class. See like HTML tag we can also write component also. I hope you got the idea and basic understanding of how we write code in React. Let's check. See here navigation bar message also showing. But we don't want this we want the proper navigation bar. Let's see how to create a bootstrap navigation bar. If you remember in the last video we installed the bootstrap plugin. So there is a website which will help us to write bootstrap code. And this website provided by React. Let's search for React bootstrap. Let's open the first link. Now click on get started button. In search box let's search for the navbar. Now click on components. See here are the examples of navbars with sample code. Here you can see they created a component for everything. We will use a dark navigation bar. Let's copy code step by step. Now here we need to import navbar component which is a part of React Bootstrap. Let's check now. See here one black color row you can see at the top. Now let's copy remaining code. For brand image let's copy image address from favicon. Here we can use bootstrap image component also, but this also will work.
See the image is coming now. Now let's copy some nav links related code. Add required changes. C2 links also showing. I hope you understood it's very easy. Now instead of simple welcome message let's use Jumbotron. Let's search for the Jumbotron. Click on the first option. Let's copy this code. But before that, we will keep this code inside bootstrap container and row. Let's add these first. Let's paste Jumbotron code now. Import Jumbotron also. Remove this button. Now let's check. Let's see how to add some custom CSS. For example, let's add some margin for the Jumbotron. So let's create one constant before return. Now let's create one column so we can use this margin top CSS and put this Jumbotron inside column. Import this column also. Let's check now. See it's perfect. Now let's make it this Jumbotron arc. Actually, these are the class but in React class is reserved keyword so they gave an option so instead of class we must use the class name. See it's working, now let's change background color also, that we need to add at the body level. See now it's 100% perfect. I hope you understood whatever we added till now. See we are keeping welcome code inside app.js. So instead of this let's create one more component for welcome. Let's add basic code which is required for component. Now let's remove code from app.js and add it to welcome.js. See it's very simple. Now let's check it is working or not. See it is working, the same way we can create n number of components. Let's remove this hello world and put some kind of welcome message. Now let's replace this default text with some kind of quote. See it is looking nice. Let's add one more component for footer, so footer should appear at the end. So here add footer component. Import footer as well. Now let's add default code which is required for component. Here also we will add navbar but it should be fixed in the bottom. Let's add some simple code for footer. Import bootstrap components. Let's check footer is coming or not. See it's coming. Everything is easy when we use bootstrap. Now along with this footer message. It should show a current year and next year also. It is kind of generalized footer format. Let's see how to add the year and next year. Here we are not keeping any static value. We will get a year with the help of React. After render let's add required logic.
See it's simple, let's check year is showing or not. See it's showing, now along with that show next year also. So to achieve that just add one in full year. See it's simple, see it's working. Now let's create two more components one for add book and one for the book list. Let's add basic code with some default message. That's it, let's add both the components in app.js also, we are adding both after welcome. Import both the components. Let's check now. See here both the messages are showing after Jumbotron, but this is not what I want. This is okay when I want to show multiple components in one view, but I want. When I click on add book then add book message should show and when I click on book list then book list message should show. How to achieve th is, this we can achieve using routing. So for that, we need to install routing module. First, let's stop the server. Now let's execute a command like npm install save react router dom. Module installed successfully. Let's run using npm start. Server started. It's working, not showing any changes because to achieve that we need to add some extra code. First, in app.js import react router dom. Add component classes like browser router, switch, and router. Now let's replace this div with the router. Instead of using these three components directly we will use the switch and inside this, we will route based on URL. See this is the format. Now let's copy this three times and in path add some value and in component mention component name. See it's simple, like this, you can also pass some value in your component, those we will see in coming videos. So here we route all the components but this is not enough we need to add some changes in navigation bar component also. Let's open navigation bar component. Here is like when I click on a brand it should redirect me to welcome page. So to achieve this we need to add link component of the react router dom module. Let's import. Now let's see how to use the link. So instead of href, we will use two. This is done, let's check. See it's not reloading. It's working. And if you observe add book and book list message also not showing. Now let's add a link for add book and book list also. See it's simple. Now let's check. See it's working. Next video we will create one form for add book and one table for the book list. See everything is working fine and URL also changing when we click on any of the links. I hope you got the idea. Let's review whatever we added.
I hope after watching this you got some confidence about React. See here everything is available and sample code also is there, this you can explore yourself. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes, router plugin added in package JSON. So like that, we will create so many videos, till the time keep watching my other videos. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.